Good morning, everybody. I have made it to Calgary, and yesterday was just super, super, super long, so I didn't vlog anything at all. Super tired. So right now, we're gonna go hang out. So I just got finished shopping. Here's my bag. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll go over what I shop with or what I what type of stuff I eat when I go shopping. So I got two orange juices. And I got my cinnamon waffles, you know. Then I got some, just some stuff to eat. So I always have some snacks, some applesauce. And I got this Nutri-Grain apple cinnamon, chewy bars. Um, let's see. And then some Stouffer's. Just in case I always need a meal. Good morning, ladies and gents, boys and girls. So today is Tuesday, and I just got out the shower. I'm about to get dressed and work on this website that I want to do. This is tying all the things that I do, so hopefully today will be a more interesting day. I think I'm going to go actually work out today, so yeah, stay tuned. So I got dressed and right now I'm working on a website. So right now this is what it looks like. I've been having these random numbers call me lately. All right. So the purpose of this website basically 
is to promote, you know, me being an athlete, model, actor, artist, and so on, so on. So this is guys so um i actually forgot a piece to my tripod um so i'm gonna have a leg spring when she comes on sunday but today is tuesday and i am uh, about to try to go work out you know i gotta take an uber to the facility which is literally like across the street but since it's like a highway i can't just walk across the street i gotta take the the car out then go up then go around and come back down and then go to the facility but anyways besides the point um a couple of my friends uh teammates and stuff were coming uh, flying in today, one of them who has my ice spikes. So I'm gonna try to get into an ice session tonight, but I need to at least go try to lift at some point in time. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing now. You guys saw me trying to do some of my vlogging stuff earlier today. I'm trying to make a website and um, still trying to get people to like find me, like see me. So I tweeted out to a couple of brands, and Nike hit me back talking about so uh, that they don't take unsolicited. Uh, athletes or something like that so i was just like well i just wanted to ask because it's the only thing you can say is no but you know anyways that's kind of been my day trying to be more productive since um i currently have nothing to do but um yeah hope you guys are enjoying it so far and stay tuned
car guy, so I literally just got hit on by a Jamaican male guy. He said I looked pretty though. Alright guys, wrapping up um, my training in here. This is the facility if you guys haven't really seen it. It's pretty big. Um, international people gotta be on this side and then Canadians can go on the other side. But I'm out of the distance sprint outside. So this is the Canadian side. A lot more open and I mean it's a lot more cooler to be honest but then they have a little track here but as you see it's all glassed off so then to show off what they do all right y'all so I'm in here vlogging and stuff minding my own business as I'm leaving uh, when you guys saw me walking towards the red door people of the facility that work here walk up to me and said, hey, are you like filming, taking pictures and stuff? And I was like, yeah, I vlog. And so they were like, well, if you have any cool shots, can you send it to us? And I'm like, well, I'm actually a photographer and a videographer. So like, I usually charge people for that. Like, we could have cut out a deal before I paid, you know what I'm saying, $130 to fucking train here to like, if you guys want some free stuff, like at least let me train here for free or give me a discount and I'll shoot whatever the hell you guys want. Matter of fact, let me go ask them that. That's a pretty good idea. Let me go see. Messengers for the old world. My plan did not go as expected. They actually do not need videos or photography, but I tried. So the cool thing about being here by myself is I could do whatever the hell I want. So I decided to walk home from the facility to Subway and then to my Airbnb. So this is the highway right there. You can't see it because of the trees, but you will when I cross it because I have to cross the highway. But you know, I have nothing else to do. So why not, right? Explore the city. Get up, 
interested in they bring it out on you type of thing. Yeah. Right. Hold on. Uh, you take American cash or not? No. But take IOUs, where are you going to? Where is this bus going to? Yeah, I'm going downtown. Oh, I had to go over there across the highway. I'll drop you there, don't worry. I'll drop you. There. Thank you. Well, I hitched a ride on the bus. Hopefully I don't get taken downtown. That's what he says that we're going. Otherwise, I guess it's just going to be an adventure today. So the good news is I did not get lost. He actually took me to where I needed to go. So I'm about to go grab me something to eat. I don't know if you guys can see any of this. So this is a lot of construction areas, there's McDonald's and all of that. So I'm about to be normal American and go to Subway to grab me a sandwich because I know I'm gonna like it. And then I'll continue my journey home, however I end up there. So yeah. cute little path that I found. Aww. I, don't, I still haven't went to Subway. No idea where it's at. So apparently I really suck at this because I passed Subway. Apparently it was behind McDonald's. So I'm just gonna keep walking behind this building. <sighs> and I should wrap back around to uh, Subway. Then I have no idea how to get home. My GPS says it takes five hours and I highly doubt that so yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Look at them legs. I'm just a hitchhiking, you know, just a hitchhiking. You know what, you guys? The reason why I did not see Subway the first time is because I walked in front of McDonald's and it is behind McDonald's. So if I'm not mistaken, Subway should be right here. Well, it's plain as day, guys. There's Subway. And I walked right from there. Meanwhile, I'm waiting and debating on what I want to do with my life. <coughs> 40 minute walk or 10 minute Uber. I think I'm going to choose the walk. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys didn't really hear me, but it's either a 40 minute walk, 10 minute Uber. I have nothing else to do today. Lex, I think is still at work. Wait, it's 7 30. She better not be at work. Okay, well, my phone is on 24%, and I'm going to. Walk home. So there's the, uh, the city right there, guys. I know you can't really see it, but you can kind of see it. This is the pathway I was on earlier. And yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, so vlogging out here is actually making it a little bit easier for me to understand my camera settings or my microphone settings when I'm filming because it's actually really loud outside because of 
the highway that's beside me. Um, but I'm trying to figure out which setting you guys can hear me the best on, which I'm gonna have to go through and edit it anyways, because I just figured out how to do it on Final Cut. But yeah, so if it sounds too loud, I apologize, but I should be able to fix it post editing. Um, but back to today, if you guys wanted to know, let me try this setting. Yeah, so if you guys are curious um, <clears throat> how today's training went for me, I didn't get on the ice, mainly because I don't have my ice spikes yet, and I couldn't sign to a session. So the reason why I have to come all the way to Calgary it's because Canada, I don't think I like this one. Nope, I don't like that one. Yeah, yo. Okay, so the reason why I have to come all the way here is um, because Canada is the only place in North America that has an indoor ice facility. Um, so it's not like a full-fledged ice track. Most ice tracks when you have competition and you're doing bobsledding and all of that, it's a mile long. Um, so the indoor track is like, I don't know, I want to guess like 60 meters maybe, possibly, not, maybe, I don't know, maybe 100 meters. But it, you push it straight and then it goes down a hill and then it comes right back. It goes up and then it comes back to you. So it literally goes up and back, up and back. So it's not like a full-fledged thing. So, anywho, so that ice track time is very expensive. So what the bobsled team usually tries to do is share sessions. Somebody would <clears throat> almost drop my phone. Somebody would um, book a session. So let's say, for instance, I went and booked a session. It's like $250 maybe for like an hour or 30 minutes or something like that. Something crazy expensive. Um, so then the teammates would then share that um, time slot and they'll split up the payments. So if it's um, 250 for an hour or whatever, if you have five people, then everybody puts up, you know, some money or whatever. Ten dollars. Uh, what is it? Yeah, ten. Nope, I said that all the way wrong. I hate math, but you guys kind of understand what I'm saying. Hmm. I wonder if I can get off here and go home. So this is my dilemma. I can either get off and go in the neighborhood, or keep walking straight, and there is a fence. So I don't know if I can cross later on but i have no idea where i'm at right now so door the explorer where are you when i need you so the only thing about canada that i don't like is because with sprint they give you unlimited text unlimited talk and all of that on the phone but you only have like one gig of um space for the internet so i'm not trying to use my phone so much but there's a navigation system it says that i am i should arrive in 30 minutes so I walked for 10 minutes, but and it suggests that I continue to walk straight. So I will continue to walk straight. So my friend Bree, she should be, well, she should be here by now, but she stopped texting me. So I have no idea. Um, she was waiting for a teammate named Sherelle and Sherelle actually has my ice bikes because Ashley from New York sent them with Sherelle because it was at the OTC, the Olympic training facility in Lake Placid, New York. Uh, and the competition starts next week. Um, the reason why I'm walking is because I literally have nothing else to do. And I looked up some Groupon stuff and kind of things to do um, for when Lex gets here. So it should be kind of fun when she comes. I'm excited. I want to take her to the mountains. You guys um, remember from last time, if you were watching me at that point in time, I went to Banff um, with Ryan Bailey and Dylan no, yeah, Dylan was there, me, Bree, yeah, that was all of us. And I don't know if Miles went, I don't think so. But we hung out, we went to the pool. Um, it was a spring, hot springs or something like that. So basically it's like, you know, 20 degrees outside or something crazy like that. And then the water, the whatever that's inside the mountains is like 110 degrees. So it was like freezing cold outside, but then you hop in a pool and it feels like a jacuzzi, it was amazing. Um, so I wanna take her out there. And I know it's summertime, but surprisingly, oh, it's really cold at nighttime. So it's like night and day. You gotta have a jacket. I'm glad I brought one. I gotta tell Lex to bring something else. Make sure she brings one for real, for real. Um, but right now, it's a beautiful temperature. Like, I'm very comfortable walking home right now. I'm not sweating. I'm not cold. Yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. Usually, I don't like walking and talking and all of that stuff. But I literally, ugh, I literally have nothing else to do. And I cannot tell if it's too light or too bright because I have these damn sunshine. Um, 
sunglasses on. Oh, my arm is hurting, guys. I gotta, I gotta give it a break. Give it a break. Ain't this just a cute neighborhood? It's so cute. They got a little playground right there. And I guess that I should have turned around because I can't, I mean, crossed it because I can't cross. Hey, bro, I'm gonna take this trip anyways. Yeah, it was really crazy to me that they didn't even put a sign to tell me that the sidewalk was ended. Like, so now I'm literally walking on the grass, which I don't really mind. I just hope I don't get like pulled over by the Canadian police or whatever, because I'm walking somewhere I'm not supposed to be walking. And I just tripped over a big ass rock. Can't look at myself and vlog guys again. Gonna have to look up, man. Can't look at you guys and vlog. I apologize if it feels impersonal. Apologize if I'm talking so much. Do y'all see this big wall beside me? Talk about construction. I think I should have got off there too. This is why it told me to take the the highway route, but um, I don't know. Looks like not gonna be home at 6:10. Oh, I know where I'm at now. I mean, I kind of know where I'm at now. There's a school. If I need to go up there, I, mean, out, I can get out right here, which I may end up doing. Oh no, I'm good, I can still walk. Oh yes, yes. Man, I wish I had a dirt bike or something. <sighs> it's like stranded, it was like zero bucks. Not stranded with a million, but stranded with none. Yeah, guys, I'm about to be black and just cross the street. And I'm not gonna walk on the highway. One, because it's dangerous. And uh, two, because I think if I cross here, I should be able to get home a little bit quicker. So we'll see. Then I guess I'm gonna get lost, have to turn around. Ooh, I reached my goals for steps today. I don't know if you guys can see that. My GPS is telling me to proceed to route. Bruh, you better re, uh, redo this. So I'm thinking about crossing right there. Cause I know where I'm at now. Usually you have to go all the way down there and to make that right, I'm not doing it. Yeah, it feels like I'm like walking across America or something. People looking at me like I'm crazy and whatnot. I'm like, dang, y'all never seen somebody walk before with a camera? If it was on my phone, I think people would be more understanding, but they're not. <laughs> All right, so decisions, decisions, yo. I know I'm supposed to go that way because that's the way we take with the cars, but I'm thinking about just crossing the street and I don't know if you guys can see over my shoulder, but cross the street going down there where the cars are coming from because that's exactly where I need to be at, I think. But I don't know about everybody else. Cross the street without getting hit, that's good. Ah, oh, this is a steep hill. I don't know if I can do it, guys. Oh, no, this isn't too bad. At least I can see if there's snakes or something. It's a little confusing, it was, but I will do it again. Me saying that and I'm not even home yet, but by walking it makes it easier for me to actually know where the fuck I'm going. All right, which street? Uh, keep straight. So guys, that literally just took 10 minutes off my walk. Not really, it took five minutes off my walk. I cutting across there, so turn up, I'm almost home. The funny thing is, I guarantee you, my Airbnb host is gonna be like, 
why didn't you call me? I would have came to pick you up. I would have come to pick you up. And I would have been like, because I wanted to walk. Like, <laughs> it's fine. Like, I, I wanted to walk home. I enjoyed it. I had a good walk. Nobody bothered me. I didn't get lost. She's going to be like, but still, I would have come to pick you up. <sighs> Canadians are too nice. Too nice. Damn, this nigga got a bike. I need to ask her if she got a bike. Ah, uh, she said somebody stole her bike. Dang. And I'm going to be walking down this for a little bit. And then her house is going to be down there on the left. Look who made it home, guys. There's my Airbnb right there. I don't think she's home, but I know a lot of you guys ask me why I like Airbnb so much. I'm like, it's just cool. Like, you get a better experience. I actually live with people who live here instead of like just staying in a hotel and all that boring crap. <sighs> She's not home. Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, so there you go, you guys. You heard it first. I made it home. I walked. I don't know what's up with Spike. Spike, what do you want? What do you want, buddy? Huh? Quit, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We want. Oh, you want to go outside? I don't know where your leash is, but I can't. Where's your leash? Where's your leash? <laughs>